Alright guys, so yesterday, we absolutely dominated the extreme only stage of Extreme Super Battle Road with uh, the LR Broly's. And today, we're going to be taking on the Super Class stage with one of my favorite teams in the entire game, Team Monkey, aka Giant Ape Power. And, you know, I just really haven't had too much of a reason to use this team recently, which is really sad because I do really enjoy it. And this stage seemed like the perfect opportunity to, you know, bring them out again. So uh, here's the team. We got my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, of course. We got Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Or rather, super full power Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, it was not ideal. But he was literally the only good option. Only good tech option for the team. And as you guys know, you need one of each type at least. So... We have to bring him, he is going to be a liability, at least defensively, but uh, hopefully we can just, uh, you know, hide him well on rotations, or rather, uh, hide him in slots without a lot of attacks, right? And then we have the uh, friend Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the new Fizz GT Goku, who should be a monster, and uh, of course the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta from the 4th anniversary. So that's the setup, let's jump in here, I'm excited to get this started. And uh, we're gonna obviously start by using some kind of damage reduction item just to feel safe, so... I'm gonna go with the Icarus, luckily, full power only has one attack from the Frieza, and is with type advantage, so I think he's gonna be okay there. I think. Alright, so, first attack, um, why don't we go for... I guess we'll go for Sorbet, cause after that, after this attack, we can go for him with the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. That's gonna be nice. And then, uh, I'm hoping he's dead after those two attacks, but just in case he's not, we'll still target him. And if he's dead, then we'll go for Frieza, which obviously is what we want, right? Ooh, all right, Gogeta already coming in clutch with that first super counter. And tanking really well too for the normal attacks. 3.6 million attack. Ooh, okay. Okay, we're off to a good start, guys. We're off to a good start. I think everybody on this team should perform really well. Um, should be. Oh my god, dude. Did this man really survive with like 1 HP? Actually, survive with like 1 HP. Alright, that, that's cool. That's cool. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, not as clutch. Okay, he could have totally countered that. Decided not to. Um, it happens. Not much you can do about that. Alright, so, as you guys can see. Super full power Saiyan 4 Goku, or whatever his name is. Hits really hard. He's very good offensively. The main issue is his defense. I think everyone is aware of that. So, I'm not saying he's like a bad unit in every aspect. It's just the defense that like really really hurts him um let me see how much defense we have here uh 163k nice for the goku and then we have 142k for the gogeta so i believe um can i get more orbs for him though if i put him in the second slot maybe now we'll leave him there we'll leave him there okay so let's go for hmm let's go for frieza again i'm just gonna try to kill him as quickly as possible because i'm pretty sure he uh, hits the hardest out of everybody on this rotation. And then after that, dude, this is kind of tricky because if we kill Frieza, I want to make sure we target Shasami. So maybe we'll just go for Shasami um, from the jump. All right, yeah, let's go for him. Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Um That wasn't great. To be honest. That wasn't great. But on the bright side, we're still alive. We're still alive, and we're probably gonna kill Frieza here. Okay, we're gonna kill Frieza here. He actually survived that. But this counter should definitely kill him. Counters are so clutch, man. Thank God for those counters. Alright, so Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, 
you know, massively raising that defense on his super, so I don't have to worry about him too much unless he gets supered as well. He's fine. Okay, that was close. That was very close. But we're okay. And I think I can actually get away with not using an item this turn. I think I can. Um, as long as Tagoma doesn't super us, then we'll be good to go. Because we can probably kill Shasami, right? And I'm going to save the STR orbs for Super Saiyan 4 or Vegeta, obviously. So that's going to be a full 24 key super. Um, no items. Is it a bit of a risk? Maybe. Maybe. But I'm feeling okay about this right now. I'm feeling okay about this right now. We'll see if it ends up being a mistake. It, it, could, it could end up being a mistake. It could. Alright, see so 81 damage there. And if Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta doesn't get supered, we'll be good to go. Or maybe we'll, we'll just kill him. We'll just kill him. Okay, we're good. We're good. That was definitely a risk. But I think it was a calculated risk. Oh. Hold up. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I swear he was going to kill him, though. I, I thought he would. But it is what it is. Uh, let's give the new Goku a chance to finish him off. Uh, he should. If he doesn't, though, then we'll definitely be able to do it with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, 5.6 mil. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, unfortunately, there is no chance, like 0% chance, we're going to be able to see the active skill for the new Goku. Because uh, the condition sucks. As you guys know, four supers is almost impossible to get in Super Battle Road. Unless you're like... You know, getting additional supers every single turn, which is going to be very rare. Um, then on turn 5, in theory, you could get it. But it's just so unlikely. Like, I'm just going to say it straight up. We're not going to see the active skill. It's uh, unfortunate, but that's just that's just how it is. Okay. Uh, first things first. I think I'm going to put the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the middle. This is more attacks there. And we're going to have to use an item. Um what makes more sense. Probably Princess Snake for the damage reduction and the healing. Uh, we're up to about 75% HP. I'm a little bit worried about that, but I think I think it's enough. I think it's enough, especially if Super Saiyan 4 Vegito decides to wake up and actually give us some counters. That's definitely going to be enough. So, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at one item. And uh, first attack, of course, is gonna go against. Gonna go against hit, and then we will. Hmm, I kind of like just targeting one enemy. If we don't have type disadvantage, I just like targeting one enemy until they die. So maybe we should just keep going for a hit. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, let's just try to kill hit. There we go. These three combined should be enough. There we go. Finally, a counter. Finally a counter. Um, some people have been asking me how I know a counter is going to happen before it actually lands. And uh, it's because, you know, before before the counter actually happens, there's like a brief like flash on the screen. Like the screen goes dark for a second, and that's when you know counter's on the way. That's like the, uh, uh, I guess, counter, free counter animation, if you will. So that's how you know if you guys have any units that can counter, that's the indicator or uh you know an upcoming counter okay so we didn't quite kill hit but the next super should be able to finish him off and as you can see great great tanking from super saiyan 4 gogeta the uh, monkey power is strong never under underestimate the, the the power of a monkey um <laughs> i was gonna say something in reference to king kong versus godzilla but i actually never finished that movie i kind of know what happens at the end I don't know, like it was kind of spoiled for me, but I never watched it myself. So, I'm not gonna make that reference, just to not sound stupid. But uh, yeah, never underestimate the power of a monkey. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm gonna put Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta there. We're gonna pop, uh, let's go for an Icarus again. I'm gonna save the, the Weezes for later when we really need them. And, hmm. Who should we target? Uh, let's just let's just go for Cabba. We're gonna go in order here. Uh, how many orbs can we get for? Ooh, that's nine orbs for Goku. That I would want to save for Vegeta, but Goku just hits so much harder. I think it's 
I think it's okay. Oh, he still gets a 24 key super anyways. So it's fine. <laughs> Everybody gets what they need in terms of orbs. That really worked out well. Um, but yeah, no, going back to the movie thing, like, I did watch it. Don't get me wrong, I started watching it with my buddy, and we were about, I would say, okay, right there, that's okay. We were about, you know, like, 80%, 85% of the way through, and then this guy had to do something, so he, like, we, we took a break, and then we just never resumed it, you know? Like, it was one of those situations where I wanted to keep watching, but we just never really found a good time for us to, like, watch again. And then by the time he was free, my rental was up, because I had rented the movie. Actually, no, it was a buddy of mine who rented it and then lent me the code, or lent me his account. And I was watching it with somebody else, and it, it was a mess. Either way, um, <laughs> by the time we were able to watch it all again, or like we were able to go back to it, the rental was up, so I just never went back to it, you know? I could probably just like find, uh, you know, stream somewhere, but I don't know. Like, to be honest, it wasn't like blowing me away either way, so I think I was okay with like not finishing it per se. I'm, I'm sure I'll go back at some point. But uh, it was just an okay movie to me, you know, like in my opinion it was okay, it wasn't anything special. But I guess it wasn't supposed to be anything special, right? It was just supposed to be like giant monsters fighting each other. And that's, I guess for the most part, good enough. Oh, more counters. I love it, I love it. There we go, so we're saying for Vegito. Put it in the work, put it in the work. Love to see it. Active skill for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, 5.4 million attacks that this turn. And is that going to be enough? Ooh, just, just a tiny bit of HP left, I think. This should be finishing him. Is he alive? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a bunch of active skills. Unfortunately, the only active skill we don't have that I really want to see is this uh, Goku, um, but it's okay, not a big deal, let's let him attack first and then I'm not going to use the active skills for the other guys because obviously I know they're going to be able to finish him either way, so let's see if this Goku, 7 million on Super Battle Road, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, of course his orb changing helps a lot, right, like the ability for him to give himself some, uh, is it ra it's rainbow orbs, right, I think it's rainbow orbs, let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure he gets rainbow orbs, so that helps with the connections a lot. So uh, yeah, he's 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 pretty sweet. All right, let me see. Um, randomly change key spheres, certain type to ra rainbow key spheres. There we go. Yeah, so rainbow key spheres are clutch because they're like the connecting pieces between like different blocks of orbs. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, let's keep going. This is the final stage. Um, this is. Hmm, slightly concerning, slightly concerning, I'm probably going to have to break up the Super Saiyan 4 fusions, I want to keep them together, but I don't think it really makes sense right now, given the state of the, the attacks here, so why don't we, um, pop a Whis, and maybe to be extra Cautious, let me think. No, actually, if we if we give it yeah, 18 key super to Vegeta, his defense is gonna be quite good still. And uh hmm. Do we switch targets or should we keep going for Rose? Not sure. Not sure what the right move is right now. I mean if we kill Zamasu first. Yeah, maybe I should try to kill Zamasu first. I'm just going for Rose with Vegeta because obviously we have the type advantage and I always want to go for type advantage if you can. But yeah, let's do it like this. I'm going to try to kill Zamasu first. I'm sure he has a lot less HP as well. So, um, if I have type advantage, which is only the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I'll go for Rose. But otherwise, we're going to target Zamasu all the way and try to just take him out first. So we only have to deal with one you know, really scary enemy, because both these guys are very scary, I remember they can hit you really, really hard, so, um, we've got to be very careful here. 
That, there's a nice counter. There's a nice counter. Thank you. And Gotita and Vegito, you know, they haven't been always on point, but for the most part, they've been countering more than they haven't been countering. That's really all I can ask for. Uh, that That's really all I can ask for. All right, so Yazumasu is down to about 50, just over 50%. <clears throat> we have a Dokkan attack coming up for sure. So let's give that to, ooh. Oh yeah, okay, we gotta give this to Super Saiyan, uh, not Super Saiyan 4. We gotta give this to uh, the new Goku. Uh, let's see, eight orbs seems to be the play. So I'm gonna go for eight orbs here. And then, oh my God, so many attacks. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to move these guys around. And uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna pop an Android 8. Okay, we can build up our defense a little bit. I'm just mainly scared about that attack in the middle. Um, if that's a super, then obviously Super Saiyan 4 Goku is in some trouble. So I think, yeah, that 8 is gonna help. And then uh, we'll give him these orbs, I guess. And then we'll give... Oh, I should have changed my target. Forgot to change my target to Rose. Okay, that's okay. All right, here we go. Dokkan attack. We, for all I know, the Goku might actually be able to finish off Rose with this Dokkan attack. Or, or at least the Masu. Sorry, at least the Masu with this Dokkan attack. So, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, super slow. I like it. I like it. Boom. Done. Seven. Perfect. And we're looking at over six million attack. If we crit here, I think Samasu should be dead. I, I, would, I would be shocked if he survives this. I would. But he could. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He's super dead. Super, super, super dead. I was literally worried about nothing. Okay, not uh, bad damage. And is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta gonna wrap, at, wrap up this run? We'll see. Not quite, oh, we got a counter. Will the counter do it? Oh, dust. Just under, just under. Like this guy probably has like 2% HP at most. So uh, I think we're gonna, hmm, let's see. Let's let Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta do the honors. Cause you know what, this guy gets a lot of hate. He gets a lot of hate from people. He's been often called the worst Dokkan Fest exclusive LR and um, you know, honestly, it's not something I can necessarily disagree with, because like, Dokkan Fest LRs generally are very, very good, and he takes some time to really, uh, mostly his damage, you know, to, to get his damage up there. Um, you know, if you compare him to like any other Dokkan Fest LR, his damage is just really not super impressive, uh, for the most part. So, I can kind of see the argument. I still really like him though, you know, but... I guess the standard for Dokkan Fest LRs is just like really high, right? But anyways, guys, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta got the job done. We're we're out of here. Ooh, 34 minutes. What was I doing for the first 20 minutes? I went to walk my dog. <laughs> my dog really wanted to go out, so I took him for a, for a stroll around the block. That, that's what it was. So shout out to Jasper, making my run super long, but obviously you guys saw in the video, we did not take nearly that long to uh, get this stage done. And there you have it guys. We pretty much dominated that stage. Like it took us, I mean, I used a few extra items I probably didn't need to just to be safe, but you know, it, it took us less, less than 20 minutes. Um, we used probably like four items that we needed to use and uh, yeah, man, this team's looking really good. Still, I mean, I was gonna say still looking really good, but they just got an upgrade, right? They got the the Goku now. Um, unfortunately, you know, I, I don't have the Vegeta, so that's a little upsetting, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll try one more time to get in when I get a few more stones. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, stay tuned. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is today's video. Great eight power, giant eight power, team monkey is still on top. 
I'm not saying they're the best category, but they're a very good category, a very good team. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more of the, you know, different super extreme super battle road runs with different teams, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, that's it. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.